Hello guys, we are back with another commander game. I won the die roll, and we got Aloro versus File Smasher and Krom. Okay. Uh, this hand is not fantastic, but I'll keep it. It doesn't have any signets or soarings, which is a little bit slow. Hopefully we'll be okay though. Um, just ramp into a turn 3 Ashiok, I guess this is the game plan. So what do these guys do? Krom. Flying haste, 4-4. Four, four. Whenever an opponent casts his or her second spell each turn, you draw a card. Alright, not too worried about that one. And Vile Smasher, whenever you cast your first spell each turn, deals damage equal to that spell's converted mana cost to an opponent. Alright. Ooh, Inquisition. That's rough. Probably just takes Ashiok here. Unless he plans on playing a creature, you take Mortify. But, I don't got much going on. Yeah, he took Ashiok. That's what I figured. Flooded Strand. I'll just hold on to that and pass it back. So these commanders is not super scary. At least Krom I don't really care about. Um, Vile Smasher can definitely get in for a lot of damage. But considering the amount of removal this deck plays, I think we can do okay. But who knows? I've never played against this deck before, so we'll see. He's got a 2-drop, apparently. So that's, that's something. It's probably just counter magic. Luckily for us, we have nothing going on, so it doesn't matter. Brainstorm. Okay. Nothing too crazy. Let's see opponent dig a little bit deeper. But if he doesn't have a fetch land, then I'm not too scared of it. If he does have a fetch land, then it's pretty good. So we could drop Vile Smasher here if he has a land. And yep, there it is. And if he drops that, I'll just Mortify it pretty happily. He knows we have Mortify though, so I don't know if he will. Him to Torok. Alright. Wow, he hit my two spells. That's brutal. Man, that was awful luck for us, but... Bummer. Austere Command, I guess that's a fine draw. I'm just gonna fetch now because I don't want to later. Watery Grave, we won't pay the life. Takes one one more land out of our deck, I guess. For whatever whatever that deck thinning is worth. Not a ton. We've got 88 cards. Yeah, so we're in a we're in a very rough spot this game. He gambled with that him, hoping it would take my removal so he could play Vile Smasher, and it worked. He's gonna get to get me good at least once with it. Factor Fiction is a pretty good draw. No complaints there. And he's gonna be able to drop Crom here as well. So I don't want to tap for this. I think I want to go and leave white open in case I hit path with it. Alright, so it's Factor Fiction here. That is a pretty good Factor Fiction. Aw, uh, I was thinking about leaving black open for Vamp Tutor as well. Alright, so Contagion class we don't care about. Uh, I don't think we actually care too much about the Planeswalkers either. I think Vamp Tutor and Vindicate are the two big ones for us right now. So how does he want to break it up? You gotta, you gotta send one more card down. You're not gonna, you're not gonna give me that pile of four. So what do I want here? I have Osir Command, which he doesn't know about. So I'm gonna wipe both his creatures. In which case, I could have Vamp Tutor. I like that. I 
we can consider stopping at our upkeep because we can actually get a get humility as an alternative because humility will shut down what he's got going on there and the only removal he could have in those colors for enchantments are either bounce effects or uh actually we are gonna draw him a card if we do that Uh, bounce effects are Chaos Warp, is what I was saying. So it's probably safer to just also your command here. Um, what do I want to do? That is the question. I think I'm going to go for Humility. Because he doesn't know about the austere command. So he's going to get to draw a card off Krom here. Hopefully Humility is not an easy thing for him to deal with. I mean, he probably has at least one bounce effect to deal with it. I'm sure the deck has to run Chaos Warp. It's just a matter of what he has in hand, and he has six cards, so... Lustre well, Command is probably the safer line, and the more I think about it, the more I kind of wish I did that, but we'll see. See what he does. That's interesting, the 1-1s one do still count as commanders. That's, I guess that makes sense. It's a property of the card. Demonic Tutor. Okay, so you can just search for Chaos Warp here. Alright, fair enough. Still, we're not going to take Vile Smasher damage at least. We're going to take 2-6 damage here from combat. Which hurts, but we can survive. And then we'll be able to austere command next turn. And hopefully be in a good spot. He is, I mean, he's in a position where he could just recast these guys. So it's not great. Not great for us. It's taking a while to find something here. I would think it'd be pretty straightforward. Just whatever answers humility. Chaos Warp, Cyclonic Rift. Whatever you want. Cyclonic Rift is what I hope to see, but three mana into the Royal. Okay, that's good. If bounce effects are what he's going with, then that tells me he probably doesn't have a lot of answers to this card. I am going to your Command, though. Um, I feel safer with that option. I can't afford to get hit by this again. I mean, I could, but I'd rather not. Alright, so we want just creatures and creatures. So destroy all creatures with converted mana cost 3 or less, and 3 or 4 or greater. Alright. So we'll do that and ship it back. See what he can do. Why don't you guys take a look at these cards if you didn't already get a chance? Elspeth is a little bit slow right now because we're under a lot of pressure, I feel like. But once it's all we have, I mean, I'll play it. it doesn't help that he has, you know, a four power flyer with haste in the command zone. And that's what's coming down. Yeah, so Elspeth, not the greatest into that card. So we probably just drop Humility here. Ideally, we draw Removal. Karlov? Uh, I mean, I think we could play both, so that's okay. So we'll drop Humility, and we'll drop Karlov. It's obviously not really <laughs> much of a synergy here, but if he removes Humility on his turn, Karlov's going to get big. 
which is what I'm really interested in. He does have seven cards in hand to R1. That's a big problem. The uh, early Inquisition in him to Turok really hurt us. Not to mention Krom and Into the Royal drawing him more cards. So he's got six cards in hand, one card in play. We've got one card in hand, two cards in play. Uh, we do have access to our commander, though, if we wanted to cast him. Not really a point, because then we stop getting life, because humility will make him just a vanilla 1-1. One, one. No Preordain. Preordain's a good sign. Let's him draw cards, which isn't really what we want to see, but it does mean he doesn't necessarily have an answer yet. What do you have? He went bottom top, so he found something he wanted. No attacks, that's good. What is it that you found? Just playing the other general. Okay, so that makes me think he almost definitely has an answer to humility here. So we're just going to go Elspeth. And we could get some beatdowns. Ooh, we just have counter magic? I mean, that's fair. Counter magic would be pre pretty bad for us here. What do you got? Yep. Memory last. Counter it, put it on top of its owner's library. Ouch, that is pretty bad for us. Because that means we're not drawing anything better next turn either. Alright, so my guess is he has an answer to humility here and he's gonna use it and swing. Well, at least when my last didn't draw him a card. Two black, two blue. Five mana. Dark Petition. Alright, so that will get him another answer to Humility. And he's got six mana to spend on it. Has he played a land this turn? No. So he could get a Cyclonic Rift to overload. Um, he could get a Cyclonic Rift not to overload. He could get Chaos Warp. He should have plenty of options. Yeah, we are... We are definitely still not the favorites in this match. Not right now, anyways. That early hand disruption with our mediocre hand to begin with. It's definitely rough. We just need some cards, and all we're drawing next turn is Elspeth. It's rough. Yep, Cyclonic Rift. All right, if he's getting Cyclonic Rift just for that, then I'm reasonably confident that's all he has. Um, I think he is probably out of answers. Pyroclasm, sure. So if we drop Humility and Elspeth, we can't even drop both because we don't have four white. But if we drop Humility, I have a feeling it might stick this time. He's got one mana left, so it will probably resolve. Well, hope for the best. That's all we got. I guess he could swan song it. That would be... A Good beats. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a just a Grixis control with these guys at the helm, kind of just because they put on decent pressure. I like it a lot, actually. I 
I really like this deck. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more this deck is like something I think I'd have a lot of fun playing. See what we got. But Alcan Ore, not particularly exciting. So we'll just drop Elspeth. So you got the counter magic, mana drain. That's rough. So we can get an Ore out, which I think is worth it. Question mark. I don't really know. Might as well get it out there. And F6. Mana Drain is... Ugh, oh, good beating. Never never feels good to get Mana Drained. Let's see what you can do with it, though. Strip Mine, it's fine. We have good enough mana. So get the F6 on. So I imagine he has to have some like big X burn spells in this deck. So we might be able to we might expect to get hit by some of those. Um, Conclave is still a 2-1. That's interesting. Why is it still a 2-1? <laughs> I do not know. I'm not going to pay for Mana Vault. I want to be able to cast whatever we draw. Conclave becomes a 2-1 creature with flying. Humility says all creatures lose their abilities. Hmm. I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, it should just be a 1-1. But... Maybe there's some weird interaction going on there that I don't understand. I mean, there has to be some interaction I don't understand. <laughs> whether it's not, whether it's rules related or MTGO related, I don't really know. But well, it's gonna put us at 19 commander damage. So that's something to worry about. Definitely need to draw something. I'm gonna take one. I don't wanna pay for this. Need need removal. Heck a blocker would do. Maybe I should just throw a Loro out there, but that doesn't feel good. Decree of Pain. Not gonna do it. He destroyed our second black, so that is actually biting us in the butt. So if I cast a Loro, it's just a blocker. Um, we don't really have much choice. We have to do it, and if he can kill it, then that's game. Uh, if we don't... well, I guess we would only be at 20 commander damage. I forgot these don't count together. So it might have been better to keep counter magic up here. The rest. Alright, there goes Decree of Pain. Not sold. This would have saved us here. Um, I'm sure. <coughs> I'm sure he'd be fine, but we're not drawing cards. We're not really getting anywhere. I'm gonna black Crom here because I think Crom is the one that is pushing us to 19. 
I'm making him recast it again. We'll hopefully make our clock a little bit better. Oh, just kidding. You got us. You got us. All right, so this should put us at 20 commander damage. And then we got one more turn. And he knows we have counterspell in hand. He chose not to attack with conclave. Might just be because he's on the commander game plan at this point. Or he has counter magic for my counter magic. All right, that's not gonna do it. GG's. Oh, that was a rough one, but no complaints. I like his deck, it's pretty cool. Um, we just weren't able to draw any action. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the videos, like and subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.